Hello guys, welcome to Bike Geek. In this video, we're going to solve common Ethernet issues such as identifying network, obtaining IP address, or the error message, Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. So, why does this issue occur? It's usually related to DHCP, which is responsible for assigning IP addresses to your computer. When it fails to assign a valid IP, you get this error and your system can't connect to the internet properly. Now, let's go ahead and troubleshoot this step-by-step -step to get your connection working again. First, we need to access the network properties. You can do this by clicking on the network icon in the taskbar, right-click and select Network and Internet Settings. Select Ethernet, then in right-hand side click on Change Adapter Options. Alternatively, you can press the Windows plus R keys together to open the Run dialog box, then type ncpa.cpl and press Enter. This will take you directly into this window of network adapters. Now, right-click on your Ethernet connection and select Disable. Disabling it will refresh the adapter settings. After a few seconds, right-click again and select Enable. This will attempt to re-authenticate the connection and reconnect to the network. Another thing you can do is check your network properties to ensure that no manual IP address has been set. Open the properties of your Ethernet connection, then double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. Make sure that Obtain an IP address automatically is selected. If this doesn't work, try setting a custom DNS. Choose Use the following DNS server addresses and enter 8.8.8.8 as the preferred. This is Google Public DNS Server. Click OK, then close all windows. After that, check if the issue is resolved and see whether your system is now receiving an IP address or not. If you're still not receiving an IP address, then right-click on your Ethernet adapter and select Diagnose. Windows will automatically try to detect and fix any issues. For example, it might reset the Ethernet adapter or reconfigure your network settings. Just wait for the process to complete. If the issue persists and you still see the error message, Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration, the next step is to check the network driver. Go to Windows Search and type Device Manager, open Device Manager and expand the Network Adapters section. Locate your Ethernet adapter, right click on it and choose Update Driver. Since you're not connected to the internet, select Browse My Computer for Drivers, then click let me pick from a list of available drivers. Choose the latest driver from the list and click Next to install it. Once the installation is complete, close the window and restart your computer. After rebooting, check if the issue is resolved. If the issue still isn't resolved, let's move on to using some commands that might help. First, open the Start menu, type CMD, then right-click on Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. When the User Account Control Prompt appears, click Yes to proceed. Now in the Command Prompt window, type this command, ipconfig backslash flush DNS and press Enter. This command will flush the DNS cache, which can help resolve network configuration issues. Once that's done, restart your computer and check if the problem has been fixed. If you're still facing the issue, the next step is to check your network driver. If the driver is outdated or not functioning properly, it can prevent your computer from obtaining a valid IP configuration. In that case, use another computer to download the correct network driver from your device manufacturer's website. Transfer it using a USB flash drive or by connecting your PC to a mobile hotspot. Install the driver, restart your system, and then test your network connection again. Now, if everything else fails, you can perform a complete network reset. To do this, click on the Start menu and search for Network Reset. In the results, click on the Network Reset option. On the next screen, click Reset Now button and confirm by selecting Yes. Your system will now reset all network settings and restore them to their default state. Once the reset is complete, go ahead and restart your computer. After the restart, 
you can see that my Ethernet connection has successfully obtained an IP address. As you can see, the issue is now resolved on my system. I hope one of these methods works for you too and helps fix the problem. Also, don't forget to check the physical Ethernet cable. Try a different one or test the existing cable in another device to make sure it's working. You can also restart your router. Just unplug it, wait for about 30 seconds and plug it back in to refresh the network. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you fix the Ethernet IP issue, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with others who might be facing the same problem. We've got more helpful tech tutorials coming your way. See you in the next video.